Hey guys, this is Red and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Halloween is coming, so I thought of making a tutorial that is Halloween related and also something that I have made quite a long time ago in one of my old One Command creations. Uh, as you saw from the title of the video, today I'm going to show you guys how to make creepy plants in vanilla Minecraft, of course, using command blocks. So, to get started, let me give myself a creepy plant spawn egg because, of course, it works thanks to this spawn egg, custom spawn egg. And the way it works, simple. You know it, you have to right click with this spawn egg and voila, you can create this really creepy plant. And if we go inside this plant, of course we get a blindness effect because it will be a bit more difficult to see and also a slowness of effect that will simulate us trying to walk into these plants. Now, you can of course place more of them and also you can place them facing in different direction depending on where you face while you spawn this plant. So, for example, if we are facing east and we spawn the plant, of course the plant will summon and face east. If we face north, it will face north, etc, etc. Now, what am I doing? Right, as you can see, we can summon a couple more of them and if you want to make a proper forest of these creepy plants, of course you can place more spawn eggs in the same place. And look at that, now it's kind of difficult to see uh, when you are inside them. Look at how many of them there are. Oh, this looks so creepy. Where am I? You can't even see me. <laughs> so you can of course add these plants into your maps. Just keep in mind that uh, they are entities. So if you didn't notice, we have here some upside down ghasts. And if we go in game mode 3, you can see that their body is uh, under the ground. So make sure that you don't place them on cliffs, for example, because if you have something like this, okay, and you try to uh, summon a plant, let me do it really quickly, and we summon a plant here, of course you will see the body of these upside down ghasts. So yeah, this is pretty much it about this creation, and now let me show you guys how I made it, and how I made it so the ghasts spawn with different rotations, depending on the rotation of myself, when I summon them. Okay, let me get out of this creepy zone. And where are the commands? Oh, they are here. Now, if you want to remove these creepy plants, just use slash kill at E, name equals gram, type equals ghast. That's it, hit enter, and voila, we killed all the ghasts. Right, so now let me guys show you how this command works. It's actually really simple. So if you want to reproduce this into your world, make sure that you have a line of command blocks that looks like mine. Make sure that the first command block here at the bottom is set on repeat, unconditional and always active. And all the other commands are set on chain, unconditional and always active. Then, uh, I have divided this line of command blocks in two parts, the black and the white part. So the black part is responsible for making the, the plants summon uh, with the different direction depending on where you look at when you summon them. And the last two command blocks here are going to give you the blindness and slowness effect when you walk into the plants. Right, so these four command blocks here are all similar, so I'm going to show you only one. Um, we have here an execute command, we are, so we are executing for all the entities that have this tag named plant. Now, when I have activated this command block to give myself a creepy plant spawn egg, I give to the player a spawn egg that has a custom tag. This tag is named plant, okay? So with this command block here, we are going to execute for all the entities that have the tag plant. So when we use this item, the ghast uh, sums already with the tag plant uh, applied to it, right? So with this command block here, we are going to execute for that exact ghast. Then we are going to, uh, sorry, is an enderman. Yeah, we are going to summon an enderman and then we are going to summon a ghast relative to the enderman. Right, so when I right click with this item, with this uh, spoon egg, I summon a enderman that has the tag uh, plant. Then with this command block here, we are going to execute for that enderman and we are going to use a simple execute command that detects for the head rotation of the player. We are, we are detecting, for example, when the rotation is between 44 and minus 44 degrees. And then finally, we are going to summon a ghast that has, of course, uh, a custom name is named Gram because, you know, if you name a entity Gram, it will appear upside down. And then it's invulnerable, silent, and of course has a rotation of 180 degrees. Then the next command blocks here are, doing, are going to do the same exact thing, but this time we are going to test for a different head rotation of the player. For example, when it is between 45 and 134 degrees. When so, it's true, we are going to summon a ghast that this time has a rotation of 270 degrees. That's it, for the next one we summon a ghast with 0 degrees and the last one with 90 degrees on the Y axis. And that's what makes these ghasts here spawn uh, with these different rotations. And that's it. So, 
The last two command blocks, as I said, they give to the players uh, some custom effects. So we are going to execute for all the guests named Gram. And when a player is found in a radius of three blocks from these guests, well, we are going to give a blindness effect to them and also a slowness effect to uh, the players. So if I go inside the plants, you know, they give me these effects. So it looks like I am actually trying to walk into a real plant. So guys, that was it about this creation. Let me summon a couple more of these creepy plants here. All right, I think that now we, we, we are fine. And let me finish the video here. Let me use a bit of zoom. So yeah, yeah guys, that was it about today's creation. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all in my next video. See you, bye.